Thousands of protesters are marching in the French Riviera, ahead of the G20 summit in Cannes. Groups of international activists are urging the leaders of the world's top economies to focus on people, not finance. Artie's Daniel Bushell is in Nice, where the protest is centred, and we'll cross live to Daniel right now there in the south of France. Now, Daniel, any sign these protests could turn ugly? Well, no, protesters say that they're bringing the spirit of the other protests that are going along uh, around the world at the moment, uh, and really they want to achieve their goals with non-violence. Um, it's really connected a lot of people which believed in the Occupy Wall Street movement in America, as well as the anti-Euro uh, rallies that we're seeing in Europe at the moment. And people have really come across from all over the globe, not just uh, Greece and Spain, two countries that are particularly suffering from the debt crisis here in Europe, but also from countries like Canada. I've spoken to Middle Eastern people who've come here especially saying that they're fed up with the way that capitalism seems to be treating them, that more attention is being given to bankers and financiers than to people. Now, there are official organizations like leading trade unions, also Greenpeace here, uh, backing up these uh, people. Now, we've spoken to some of the protesters. Here's what they have to say. I'm here because um, I want uh, equality for all the people and uh, because we don't trust in all these men in power. Uh, against the G20, against the, uh, the fact that a few people are just, uh, the few people that have the most money in the world are just uh, governing everything, governing us, governing all the people. All the uh, governors of states of this uh, world have decided they own the world and they control what it should be. We believe the people have their word, should have their word, should have something to say. Well, Daniel, clearly there's going to be a big turnout of protesters. So how have the authorities been preparing for these forthcoming protests around the G20? Well, the scenes are actually quite chaotic. I mean, roads around here have been locked down and shut off to even local residents who've needed badges to come in. There's been a very heavy-handed approach from uh, police who are on side streets here in reserve, ready to, uh, to really fight back if the protesters get violent. But there's been no sign of that. There's been a very peaceful uh, march from protesters across the town of Nice. Of course, they've been blocked from going to Cannes, where the G20 summit itself will take place. But uh, really, there's been a contrast between between the reaction of the police with the helicopters overhead and the police sirens going on around the city and the peaceful marchers who say they just want to get their message across. Daniel, thanks very much indeed for that live report there from Nice in the south of France. More from Daniel, no doubt, over the next few days.